Hi guys, Chris again, and in this video I want to talk about a, a, um, a motherboard feature that I have generally decided that all of my computers going forward will have. I will not actually actively seek out hardware that does not have this. So what I'm talking about, this is just, this is my big gaming laptop, it just happens to have it. Let me see, can you see it? I don't know if you can read it on the thing, but right there, that one and that one is a pair of Thunderbolt ports. Now, uh, I believe this particular laptop is from 2017 and it has a pair of Thunderbolt 3 ports. Uh, I'm not super up on it, but I believe the actual, there were some benefits to Thunderbolt 4, but I don't believe data throughput was one of them. I believe it was 40 gigabits a second for both, something like that. Um, but my, um, my, this has it. I believe this has the same Thunderbolt 3 as this. My, uh, my uh, my Dell workstation laptop I think has Thunderbolt 4 and then my uh, my gaming desktop my primary gaming desktop actually does not have it I didn't realize it didn't have it I thought it did because of the board I bought but um, so going forward I think that the capabilities uh, brought with Thunderbolt are just too big to ignore um, some stuff you wouldn't even think of but I mean just to get started potential for high throughput external devices so Thunderbolt 5 when it starts to be readily available you're going to be looking at more capability for adding external video cards and maybe you're not into that but maybe you would be if you could who knows um, high throughput external storage devices um, high throughput thumb drives potentially things like that just super high performance external devices that typically we have had to have as internal stuff i think are going to become more and more prevalent as uh as thunderbolt 5 rolls out i thought thunderbolt 5 was 120 gigabits i, I could be wrong on that i was under the impression that it was maybe supposed to be like a like a PCIe X8 slot, but I don't quote me on that. I, I've seen I've seen enough to know that I want it, but I, I didn't actually memorize the specs. But it was it was faster than Thunderbolt 3 4, 3 slash 4. Um, and it, it looked really promising to me. And I just I think that I think that it's such a useful capability. And here's the other thing: yes, you could add it PCIe potentially later, but <laughs> most modern gaming boards only have one or maybe two, if you're lucky, accessible PCIe slots. And one's usually an X8, so who knows if you could run a card off of an X8, you might need an X16 for it. So, uh, or high bandwidth external capture cards, there you go. Anyway, I hope you guys find this information useful, and thanks for watching the video.